In this video, I just want to go over some vocabulary, so this shouldn't take too long, and it's already right here for you to see, but I'm going to talk through what this graphic organizer represents. So at the top of my graphic organizer, I have the word quadrilateral. Hopefully you have heard of quadrilateral before. It just means a four-sided figure. But then there are more specific types that we're going to be working with in our unit. So we have parallelogram is the first specific type. And notice it has lots of characteristics here. So a parallelogram, it looks like a leaning rectangle a lot of times. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Opposite sides are parallel. The diagonals bisect each other. And consecutive angles, that means two that are in a row. Let me draw a little picture. So like if you had a figure that looks like a parallelogram. Consecutive means like they're two right beside each other. So that's what the word consecutive means. They are supplementary. So those two would add up to 180. And then we branch off into some more specific quadrilaterals. So a quadrilateral is considered a parallelogram if it has these characteristics. And we're going to talk in another video about how to prove that something, that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. But for now, we're just going over like the characteristics of a parallelogram. So if you know it's a parallelogram, you know that all of these things would be possible to help you solve problems. But then if they tell you it's a rectangle, that's even more specific. So a rectangle would be all of these characteristics plus the diagonals are congruent. That's the symbol for congruent. And it's equiangular, so all the angles in a rectangle are equal. Hopefully you also know that by now. And if they tell you it's a rhombus, that's different than a rectangle, but it's a parallelogram plus it has these other characteristics. So if they tell you it's a rhombus, it has all the qualities of a parallelogram. It's certainly a quadrilateral, but it also has these characteristics. So it's equiangular, the diagonals bisect opposite angles, and the diagonals are perpendicular. The symbol for perpendicular, you sometimes see it written sort of like an upside down T. So that's what they mean when they say perpendicular. Mathematicians like to write words as symbols a lot of times. So don't get thrown off if they put perpendicular, like that is the symbol for congruent. And then if it's a square, that means it has all of these qualities. It has the qualities of a rectangle, the qualities of a rhombus, and everything listed as a parallelogram. And of course, it has four sides. So this is a graphic organizer to add to your notes so that when we're talking about each one of these figures, you've got them written down and hopefully you start to learn these qualities as we work on problems that involve 